everybody, Al here, and in today's video, I am going to be reviewing the Yelangu S60T gimbal, and I'll show you after this intro. So I was recently given this gimbal by a YouTuber called DOD Media or Dodd Media, I don't know how to say it. So basically he was giving away some equipment on his YouTube channel so I just took the initiative and just wrote in what I wanted to take and um, yeah he just sent it over. He was sent sending over I think a Weeble S Zion Crane or this gimbal and I was like you know what let me practice with the manual stuff. So. I chose that a couple months later it came because of COVID-19 this was done before COVID-19 so it just came recently I've just been practicing with it I always wanted to get a hold of a stabilizer whether it was an electronics stabilizer or a gimbal or whether it was just a steady cam so thanks to this giveaway I basically saved 75 pounds which therefore I can use it to spend on equipment or maybe a trip when airlines start to open back again this stabilizer basically has a three axis gimbal so it basically dampens out your pan your tilt and your rotation axis when you're filming so basically if you're like me and you end up going to a shoot and you drank a bit too much coffee because you couldn't go to sleep because you're excited this bad boy will help you out with the stability part of it so here is the gimbal i have my tripod head which is just a ball mount um, it comes with two screws, I think it comes with a quarter inch screw and a, I don't know what the other screws are, but the ones what is what can go underneath your camera and then the one what goes onto your tripod head. So I have my tripod head here with a quick release mount and yeah, from it's, it's compressed right now, it is 39 centimeters tall, but when you fully extend it, it's 60 centimeters, but when it comes with six weights. It comes with two 800 gram counterweights and it comes with four 200 gram counterweights. So if you have a heavy beast of a camera, I don't know, maybe a 1DX Mark II if you're rich enough to get that. Um, yeah, it should be able to handle it. If not, you just um, extend it. And it comes with these little knobs, which I think are quite cool. So basically, if you want to extend it and it's in an awkward position, you just have to pull out the knob, twist it and then yeah so this is it fully extended it's quite tall can most likely weigh take on anything what you deliver at it so to balance the camera you will need to use these knobs on the head you have two knobs you have the knob to move it forward and backwards and then you have another knob to move it side to side the kind of way how i use it i put it on the other side so the actual knob to move it side to side that moves it forward and back and then the other knob what makes it go forward and back and make it go side to side so when I was using this gimbal the first issue what I had is that if I'm trying to go lower I actually can't go too low because the actual pole this bit hits the actual head which is quite inconvenient so I have to have it the other way so I get a bit more um, like leeway into it so that's one of the issues what I've had with this but altogether it's a really, really good gimbal, especially for the price. It is a bit finicky when you want to adjust. So basically, if you want to get the perfect balance, you have to micro adjust it. So when you want to actually balance it, you want the actual bottom bit of the stabilizer to then hit the center of the actual like level. And you want it to be two seconds. So right now, there's nothing on this camera that's way too fast. So you want it to basically you want to count to two Mississippi so one Mississippi two Mississippi when it goes like that it's the perfect balance and speed and when you have a camera on the gimbal if it starts to move back like this that means you it's too back heavy so you want to adjust it to move forward and vice versa from side to side so that's how you use it I'll show some clips of what I've done with it and I made a video um, with my friend Brennan who is a who boxes and yeah it's really good for if you want to get that handheld kind of look to it but you don't want it to be too stable so Parker Walbeck who is a videographer and I'll leave his link in the description he ba he basically influenced me to um, choose this over than a electric gimbal because 
I like the kind of I like how it looks more handheld but it's still stable that it's not too shaky so there is a steep learning curve so if I went to get this I would rather spend a month practicing on this gimbal than actually going to a job straight away because it is very hard to control and I'll just show you some clips where I've flopped with controlling this because sometimes you might move too fast and when you control it you want to get your dominant hand my dominant hand is my right hand you want to hold you want this hand to take in all the weight so when you're shaking it it's able to actually be stable and then you want to use your other hand your left hand to actually hold the bottom and to steer you want to pan or tilt or whatever but you want to do it lightly because if you do it too hard you're basically um, taking away the gimbal aspect of it and you're just holding all the way onto your shaky hand so you just want to lightly do that so that's where the skill comes into this gimbal it's using your other hand to actually direct where the camera's pointing so big up to all the steady cam users i've actually used i don't uh, i would say an airy trinity i don't know if it was actually the airy trinity but i used a bigger version of a, a steady cam at a convention and you have the whole vest and everything and when i say to you it was the hardest thing to carry and i'm i'm heavy i've done a lot of weight training and like i'm heavy i know how to handle weight but this was that uh, if you move too forward you're going to break the arm if you move too back you're going to get the whole red 4k 8k camera hitting into your face so it's either that so i'll basically there's going to be b-roll showing you how i actually balance this it for this video hopefully you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like comment and subscribe if you are new and don't forget to share to your friends i know this isn't tiktok where you just copy link and it shares but it will be good for the algorithm so i'll say mid 2020 style just smash the like button like what peter mckinnon says hopefully the year continues to be well it gets better because you know now like what i bet next month there's gonna be a giant chicken eating everyone like the way how it's going we have covid19 forest fires protests we have a lot of stuff going on our hands this year so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace